You may have noticed a few more bees buzzing around town this time of year, but changes in our climate are doing more harm than good to their population. Enjoying the music. <laughs> Anyways, but you know, okay, so this does have a direct effect on the food we eat, Absolutely. right? So 10 Tampa Bay meteorologist Natalie Ferrari, she spoke with some local beekeepers about what's going on exactly with our local bees and then what we can all maybe do to help the situation. There's a buzz around town during our warmer months as flowers are in full bloom. Pollinators like the honey bee are a crucial puzzle piece in our nation's food supply, but our changing climate is making it more difficult for bees to thrive and provide their long list of benefits. So bees are very important for us, um, not only for our survival, because 80% of the crops that we produce in this country um, is pollinated by bees. So without the bees, we would basically starve within a matter of years. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, drastic changes in the environment, such as temperature swings, floods, and droughts, are making the ecosystem between flowers and pollinators less suitable. Not only do these pattern changes affect pollination, but it causes nutritional stress, affects their overall growth, as well as impacts on reproduction. We did lose a lot more bees this year than normal, and I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that there wasn't food available for them at the same time of year that there normally would be. As we continue to see warmer temperatures later in the fall and winter seasons, there lies an increasing risk to parasites and disease, affecting their ability to work or make that sweet liquid gold we love so much. When the bees get the nectar, the water content in the nectar down to about 18%, then they cap it over with wax like that and it will store indefinitely. And that's what is what we consider mature ripe, ripe honey. Oh my goodness, that's so sweet. That cool? Their nonprofit, The Bee Musketeers, raises funds for those who can't afford live bee removals so that they are removed safely with as little disruption to their ecosystem as possible. We come in and we take bees alive versus them being exterminated. With extermination, a lot of the times, what happens is a hive can be exterminated and there might be honey you know, left in that hive that was exterminated, but it's got all those pesticides in there now. So bees from other colonies are now coming to steal the honey and they're getting into those pesticides. So it's just traveling and now it's harming other colonies of bees as well. So like I said, part of what we do is, is we do that live removal. Education on the importance of bees in our community is crucial, which is why we need to actively work to protect them in our changing climate. On a smaller scale, I mean, you could, you could say that there's impact on a personal level, but I think that the impact is is much greater than that when you look at it in the big picture of like how our society operates and how agriculture is done in this country. Yeah, you talk about everything being interconnected. It's we talk about really our climate. Yeah. It's good to see those beehives. Sometimes you see them on the side of the road out by the farm. It's good.